Silicon Valley has Apple, Redmond, Washington has Microsoft, and Spanish Fork, Utah has this. The public library, where Robert Ney, the CEO of Ney Games, researched and developed the number one free app for the iPhone. The only difference is the company that's just dethroned some of the biggest boys in technology is run by a 14-year-old boy. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool because I never thought my game would do that well. While other 8th graders are playing computer games, he's creating them. My friend's dad suggested that I try making an iPhone app and I thought, why not, that would be pretty cool. And so I checked out a book from the library, and so I eventually found a program called Corona SDK that has a built-in physics engine, which is really nice. The game Robert created is called Bubble Ball, and in just the last two weeks, it's been downloaded more than two million times and counting. On Thursday alone, it got 400,000 downloads, and it just knocked out Angry Birds from the top of the app charts. When I saw that it was number one for the free apps, I was pretty astonished. While Robert's app can be downloaded for free, if he had charged a dollar for the app, he would have made two million dollars. Enough money to pay for an undergraduate degree at his college of choice, Utah's Brigham Young University, 113 times. He's already busy working on another game. Ah, uh, it's secret for now. But we do know the next one will likely be at least 99 cents a download. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Davis.